most of the uh, songs, tales, poems, etc. of dreams being spoken today are rather whimsical. This is not going to be one of them. It's a bit of a bummer. Uh, this is a poem that I finally got around to finishing not too long ago after the very last stanza of this is amusing I had some years ago and finally decided to expand it to something greater. Why is it that one man wishes one another pleasant dreams and prays not to be plagued by nightmares? Dreams may give us the chances we do not have to live full lives, to do grand things, to see places thought impossible, to reunite with loved ones since lost, to find love when life has none, to find happiness for the first time that you can ever recall, but then to awake and find them for naught, none but a fiction of the mind, the joy they brought fading just as quickly as their memory. The common man takes this as a gift, a short reprieve from the troubles of life. But I find no comfort, no respite in this, in this farce of the mind. For it makes a mockery of what I desire in my deepest of hearts, but lies far out of my reach within the world of the waking. If one may remain within the illusion and live in the dream forever, then I too would seek their deception. But thus is not the way of life. No. I shall take the nightmares, for never once have I awoken from a nightmare and been disappointed by the reality I found myself in. But it is from the most pleasant of dreams that I begin my day week.